fact we are coming near to the end actually near to the end of this lecture note part 2 okay because we got tribology, tribology or something to go okay so we in in this series of uh, videos we'll talk about um, from page 74 onwards to 89 all right which everything is about theory but I'll just touch on the things that is a bit hard to understand so it's easier for you to revise in the future so the design considerations all along is with this uh, seven points all right you should wait and just remember these seven points how does this seven points gonna link to our case study because this case study you see they are by the number of points so they the lecturers actually um, read, written down all the, the the factors in terms of the seven points as you can see so the, for the broad propeller and also you see these seven points also for for other parts your protruded protru protruded section for your foot bridge is also in terms of uh, a few points as you can see so uh, yeah seven points so therefore um yeah it's pretty pretty neat and therefore um in this video i think i'll just more on focusing on the the car which is the first one where where am i so over here this is the first one is talking about uh, some sports car all right 16 meter square all right it's pretty awesome so why is it talking about 16 meter square you are 1.8 meter okay and then about one meter is somewhere over here okay maybe this is your child okay so it's a 16 meter square so means that you're talking about four times of your child okay maybe i should copy and paste therefore it's typically two times of your size all right in terms of the breadth and the because it's a square taking it that this square is about four meter by four meter all right so therefore um this is a four meter for example a four meter by four meter carbon carbon fiber so with this amount of um, area you can actually create 32 parts out of it or right, it's a carbon fiber reinforced panel okay so hopefully it gives you a, a, a perception of how big it is all right so layout molding is an open molding we have discussed in in previous videos all along in the first part talking about all this hand layout contact molding things like that go through and over here it's a fine 0.5 millimeter surface veil fabric all right so why is this fabric not wrong actually this is the the type of carbon fiber the veil fabric because veil itself if you were to type veil is this type all right so you are going to wedding or whatever so it's a very thin layer of cloth so it's a very also so a veil fabric for a composite i would believe is a thin layer of a composite okay with acrylic paint for for an A class surface finish, I think you you know yourself. Alright, let's talk about the loading path. Alright, so the first one actually is talking about the shape, uh, size, and finishing. So therefore, it's also corresponding to to, to to this thing. Next is the loading path. Alright, and therefore it's the loading path. So what is talking about is the sentence: impact loading causes local shear elimination between laminate and core. Alright, I don't even know what the hell is going on. All right, so I will believe that Im the impact loading will cause certain local shearing between the laminate and the core. So the word elimination may be, maybe a typo error, I think. So what it means, I will believe, is that for example, because this car is made of a sandwich panel, this is the face, this is the core, this is another face. So impact loading may be impact onto this surface, all right, where um, some shearing over here, um, if I were to draw it like that, is it better? Yeah. So normally, if you maybe this is the the car car front, this is part of the car front. For example, if I were to zoom out a little, so this is the car body, something like that. Yeah, this is the wheel, you know. So this is the car body, lah. For example, okay. So this this part over here, if it's being heat, all right. You may actually cause the 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 laminate to actually shear, okay. That's what I mean. That's what it means, I believe, between the laminate and the core. So I believe that if you were to hit it at this point or or somewhere other points, all right, then it may actually cause shearing between the the laminate and the core. Maybe <coughs> maybe the face. This is all. This is the face. Maybe the core may actually shear, I don't know, 
Alright, this is the face. So imagine shear in this direction. Or maybe shear in this direction. So when you shear in this direction, the, the laminate may, may may move in this form. You know? I don't know what I'm talking actually. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you get what I mean. So it's somewhat yeah, impact loading. I think you just remember yourself lah. Then panels panels together with glass screens. I don't even know also what the hell. So where is the panel? I also don't know. But anyway, it, it contributes to the tension stiffness. Tension stiffness. So when you try to pull, alright, it's very stiff against pulling. Alright, so if it's very stiff against pulling, then this means that um, it is pretty strong, I would say. Alright, because it's, it's very stiff, so when you try to pull it, it's very hard to pull. Or you, you it's very hard to actually pull out the panel, I think. So I believe it... it, it it, it kind of helps because the glass screens I believe is the, the screens of the, the car but I also don't know how it's being put together yeah that's, that's the, the art of it so I'll leave you to think about it and then bi-directional is two direction fabric alright so it's not a unidirectional so it's being pulled in two directions it, 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 it is designed to take in two direction forces okay yeah, um, this part is a bit sucks for me. And then determinations of strength and stiffness. So how do they do it? They use this the, the things that we have discussed uh, previously. You can just type all this in in my playlist. You, you should you should find all the the necessary stuff. Failure criteria. I think we know you go through is in the the safety factor. All right. So F is equals to ten. Why is it so, alright? Because it, if you see, when you're designing a car, you're actually taking, you're actually concerning of the impact load. So whenever you design a car, or design whatever vehicles, uh, you should take note of, uh, it's more on the Im impact load side. So when you're talking about car impact load, because you're going to crash, sometimes car will be, there will be car clash. So you need to, you need to take in this consideration. And then, um, temperature and environments, alright? UV radiation degradation because your sometimes your sandwich structure your foam may be a plastic so a long time the UV uh, or, or the laminate because they are all mixed of plastics so therefore um, UV radiation may actually spoil the plastic and makes it very weak so once impact loading crushes it you you shatter into pieces so these are the things that you may want to also take note then humidity absorption is because uh, over here, this is the faces, for example. In between, this is the core, this is the face. So in between the, the core and the faces, there is some adhesive. So a long time, the, the water moisture may actually um, eat into the adhesive, then it may actually cause certain um, adhesive problem. So the bonding is not as good as, as, as the past, things like that. Alright, hopefully this is pretty clear. I'm just rumbling what I don't know. One interesting thing over here is mechanical testing. So they actually use a different indenter shapes. Alright, so you have your car body over here. Alright, so I believe that they use a hammer or maybe this style of shape, a sharp edge, alright, or maybe a circular shape. So they use different things based on different specific standards to actually test the, the impact load. So it's all about impact test. Okay, and then the joining and the cutting. So it's talking about joining your panels and whatever. So yeah, I think it's quite straightforward. Joint panels and polyurethane adhesive. Polyurethane somewhat looks like that. La. I also don't know why is it looks like that. Maybe like that. Polyurethane. But anyway, um, yeah. Lo. So these are the, the things for the car. Although my explanation sucks at the loading part. Alright, but take note that the car, the takeaway is that for car, you need to take note of all the impact loading. Alright, the impact loading that will also cause a certain local shearing between the, the composite it's because uh, local shearing I will imply is that because you may you may cause a dent sorry you may cause a dent over here alright so over here the if you were to zoom in for example if you were to zoom in piece by piece alright if you were to shear it in this manner the this two piece may actually be sheared so there will be certain shearing that may occur at the local point so I think this is what it's trying to say uh, I don't know but at least something for you to easy to me remember and then uh it was it would be advisable if you were to read the 
the no the reading materials which is page twenty twenty six. Alright. They actually take note of the, the prices like one sixty euro per meter square. Alright, so it's quite of a quite expensive. So we have sixteen one 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 vehicle just now you as you see in, in the slides is sixteen meters square, right? Yeah, yeah sixteen meters square. So sixteen times one sixty you have about two thousand two five six zero euro. Alright, which is about five thousand SGD. So actually quite cheap, uh. Yeah, thirty two parts. Yeah, but anyway, let alone you also need to know that it's only one point five millimeter thickness. So thickness may may deal with it. But the 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 reading notes is based on traditional techniques first. They actually talk about the traditional ways of how you do it. And then after that, maybe a new way. Uh, over here, there's a new approach. So it's a comparison between the old approach and the new approach. And then um, some other informations of how, how the supplier, because you have a supplier, so how the supplier will stand up. So they actually select different suppliers. And therefore, the supplier, one, the SP is uh, some, some, some companies, they actually provided uh, a supplying kit. Alright, so they actually supply these kits to actually help them to to protect the core. Alright, to protect the core. So because of a certain issue, I think. Yeah. So to prevent any delaminations of water ingression or whatever if the core is left exposed. So they, they, they do they have certain kits to actually touch up your their the parts. Alright, so it's it's pretty pretty uh, awesome, I guess. So it's pre prevent any water moisture between the core and the face. Alright, this is the faces, this is the core. So there's some water water ingression may go into the, the composite if the face itself wear off. So there are some touch up kit to, to, to check it out. Things like that uh, is yeah. And then so this is the the your your carbon fiber, alright, your CBS, I also don't know, your car body sheet, okay. Alright. So um as you can see, this is a resin, this is a core, this is a resin frame. So it's a, like, it's a sandwich structure. So above the sandwich, they still have a certain dry fiber. I think it's to protect protect the thing. And then you have a certain surfacing frame to also further increase the protection. And a more surface to, to prevent any water or whatever, I think. So all in all, it's, it's that of the manner. And... Uh, the traditional method is that the... Because there is a, as I say, there is traditional techniques and and a new approach. So the why traditional techniques sucks is because um, you show the print of the weave fabrics. Alright, because your common fiber is weave. Weave meaning that you're going to weave it like this. And then you have some, this, this type of straps. So normally your car would have, would when you see your car, the inner inner seats, when you sit, normally when you sit in the back seat, your, your door over here, there is some, there's some this type of thing coming out. So this is how the, the weave fiber, carbon fiber actually is. So therefore, um, it's exposed to temperatures and humidity, which is somewhat not very good also. And then things like that. So, and also these are the things that they, they actually talk about it. Alright, to, to enhance your understanding, in case that in the future you might need it. Yeah, and... Uh, so over here, panels can be either autoclave or oven cure, and then such as doors and bullets are produced in less than an hour, including vacuum bagging, or right, things like that. So these are the the processes that they actually took in the new approach, and uh, I, yeah, just read. You just take your time to read uh, Just pause the video and check it out, okay? Which is it's just uh quite educational, but uh in case yeah. So just take note of of the seven points. Please remember the design considerations. All right, please memorize them. Okay, and this ends the part of the the case study for the car. All right. So I'll see you in next video for other case studies.